All right, Khan Academy Algebra. Uh, we're looking at systems of equations, and this section is called combining equations. And basically what this is setting us up for, it's setting us up to use elimination, which is a method to solve a system. And in combining equa equations, we're either going to add or subtract. So one thing when you're doing these problems is make sure that you kind of come in here and that you look at the words, whether it's saying adding or subtracting, because that's going to be kind of important. All right, well, let's do a few examples, and then we'll come back and we'll finish this example. So when you're combining equations, you're basically just stacking them up and adding them like normal numbers. So it says, what is the result of adding these two equations? So I'm just going to add the x terms. I'm going to add the y terms. And I'm going to add the constants there at the end. So 5x plus a negative 2x, well, that's 3x. And then a negative 1y plus a positive 1y, well, those are opposites. You know, so negative 1 plus a positive 1, they just equal 0. So I actually don't end up with a y term, which is precisely what I want to have happen when we start using elimination in the next section. And then 6 plus 8 is 14. So you're really not solving anything in this unit. You're basically just showing that you can add or subtract the two rows of equations. So this right here is your final answer, 3x equals 14. Subtraction is a little bit trickier, and I don't usually recommend it unless it's super easy set up. Uh, but when we use elimination in class, I always try to create opposites. Um, for instance, this equation, I would normally add them together to eliminate the x's. But on this section, Com wants us to actually subtract. So it says, what is the re result of subtracting? So let's be really careful here. So let's kind of first just focus on the coefficients. So I have to do a negative 7, subtract a positive 7. Well, remember, we normally don't subtract. You really just add the opposite with integers. So that gives me a negative 14x. Um, now when I go to the next one, I have a negative 1, subtract a positive 8. So a negative 1, subtract a positive 8. And again, don't subtract. Add the opposite. So that's going to give me negative 9y's. And then here on my last set of numbers, I have 0 take away a negative 6. So I have 0, subtract, negative 6. And don't subtract, add the opposite. And here I'm just adding. So that's going to come out to be 6. So here's my final answer. Notice this time one of my variables did not get eliminated. So they're not always going to. Some examples they do, some they don't. All right, let's go back to con and let's finish that, that question that they had us doing here. And I kind of going to use, I guess I'll use their pen on this one. But I want to add these two up. So we're going to add these two equations. So let's focus on the numbers. So I have 4 plus a negative 9, which that's going to come out to be a negative 5. So I'm going to have a negative 5x. I guess I could type this in right now. Negative 5x. And then we need to do these y terms and actually somehow it looks like I lost my my problem there there it is so now I'm going to do the y terms and I have a negative 4 plus another negative 4 so negative 4 added to negative 4 well that gives me negative 8 so I'm going to put a negative 8 in, and I'm going to just wait and do these last two before I enter my answer so then I have a negative 2 plus a negative 3 which is negative 5. So my y term is negative 8. My constant is negative 5. So negative 8y equals negative 5. Everything looks good. Awesome. 